You know our next guest from his work on Saturday Night Live, which airs this Saturday on NBC with host Paul, uh, excuse me, host Paul Rudd and musical guest Charlie XCX's new show, Saturday Morning All-Star Hits, is streaming now on Netflix. Let's take a look. Welcome to Smash. I'm Skip. And I'm Trebor. And we're... Whoa! Whoa! We gotta get back, because we can't miss an all-new Strongable. Yeah, because I do a voice on it. Oh, yeah, that's... That's this week. Yep. Guess the dudes who make cartoon ariskis think my voice is totally zuzzy zuzz. What does that mean? Hey, if you have to zuzz, then you'll never zuzz. Please welcome back to the show, Kyle Mooney, everybody. Oh! Hello, Kyle. Oh! <laughs> Kyle, I, I say this so sincerely. I've always felt like you're someone, whenever you do something on SNL, I feel like, oh, you have such an authentic and voice that is true to you, and yet I have never seen anything that is more hyper, like hyper specifically Kyle uh, Mooney than this show. You must be thrilled with how it turned out. Yeah, I, I feel great, and, and yeah. Uh, that is the thing I feel like everybody is saying, is this is so you, which is, I, I can't tell how I feel about that because it's it's all, based on children's cartoons, but yeah. at the same time, like, yes, this is the stuff that I love and, and I feel so great about it. I mean, it's it's basically you play twins who are hosting a Saturday morning cartoon block and they are 80s and 90s cartoons that again are so, it's an homage, right? I mean, it's safe to say these are the things you love deeply. So much, I, I, like I, I do think it's it could be an issue I mean, like, this is my life. This is, the, and the whole sh the, the show is presented as if it's taped off TV. So you're getting like commercials and news clips and I play all of these characters. We got to make these cartoons, but seriously, this is the stuff that I, I feel like I've been studying for this since 1988 or something like that. Now, was and, this a case where you had to go back and try to remember what those cartoons were like, or have you been watching them uh, continuously into adulthood? No, 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 I, I, I do every day. I, I have a pretty massive VHS collection, actually, and, like, this is... Well, I mean, I, this all, is your VHS collection. For people who yeah. think you're, like, lying, these are, like, actually... You have... Uh, and you will just have people over, right? Fellow castmates, friends in, in New York, and say, hey, you just, you just grab a tape, my friend. Yeah, well, I mean, like, you and I overlapped. Do you remember that? I do, yeah, of course. Yeah. Great, by the way, just to be around you. Um, but yeah, my first year, I don't know, how would you describe, Saturday Night Live is, as a job, hectic, stressful? I don't know, what are the, how do you? Well, yeah, I think those are really uh, uh, accurate. And then especially starting at SNL is yes, the most year. haunting feeling in the world because you have a day where you think, I've joined comedy royalty. And you're, then your second day, you're like, they're going to cut my head off. Yeah, I love saying that too. Just the whole joining comedy royalty line. Um, but you're right; it only it only lasts for 24 hours. Um, but yeah, no, like uh, my first year after the after parties on Saturday nights at like you know it was like 4:30, 5:30 in the morning. I would typically have some friends from the show come over, and uh, and we would just I, I would say pick anything off the VHS wall and we would just smoke hookah and then watch like Rainbow Bright or something yeah. like that. And, and that was the only thing that could make me feel good. Yeah. You, uh, last time you were here, um, you brought a bag full of VHS uh, tapes uh, just to give us a sense of the flavor of, a, of your work, of your uh, library, yes. as you like to say. And yes, um, as, yeah. so I'm gonna just pull these out. Thank you for sending these over. Um, uh, this is the perfect bag sure, for them sure. to be I, in. I, and I, I will say, Seth, just so you know, most of my tape, the tapes you saw in that photo, those have all been moved to Los Angeles, basically. So now my apartment in New York is empty, but I will open up drawers or cabinets and still find leftover piles of VHS. There's just too, I, there's too many, and uh, it's always, it's, it's, it, it, it doesn't make me, feel great about who I am, but yeah. uh, but I wanted to show you what I have. And truly, like, this was on, like, Tuesday night. I opened up my cabinet, and these are some of the things I've All right, so tell us a little bit about um, uh, the miracle of the staircase. <laughs> yeah, that's just a really good movie about that spiral staircase. 
Um, so the cover is kind of giving a lot of it away. Yes, uh, and so I do feel bad for the audience. Maybe you should put it put it away now because the, yeah, once you get to the, it's a good movie, guys, and you're gonna want to see it. Well, this one, all right. Well, so this one, uh, this is I guess an instructional video. This is a, uh, what's this one here? Give this to cats. Again, something I feel like everybody already knows. Yeah. I um, want everybody to picture who you think uh, the the woman who stars in this is, and then tell me if you thought it was her. <laughs> Ann Childers. <laughs> Ann Childers. <laughs> one of my one of the greats. <laughs> Ooh. Now I feel like there's got to be some. You can tell me a little bit more about uh, about Kick Time. Kick Time, Fun and Fitness with uh, Kirby the Clown and the Kick Time Kids. Yeah. He is a real clown. I mean, uh, not just a clown in behavior, like a full child clown. It seems like I wouldn't, I don't know if I'd want to learn kicking from a clown. Um, Kirby's different. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is good, because this seems to be, uh, if your kid is hyper specific in their wants, they probably wouldn't even believe this exists as a film. I want to be a ship captain. Yeah. Yeah, this was, so you say hyper specific, but for me, like every other kid I went to elementary school with was like, hey, it, we got to do it. <laughs> this was the goal. Right. It's like one of us can't afford a ship, but if we chip in. That's exactly what I said. Oh my gosh, now I can't believe what this is promising is even possible, because this is telling you they can teach you a thing in five minutes. Kyle, you've obviously had five minutes. Does this mean that you can do what this tape says you can do? Yes, I can do the Macarena, and I can also get mad. <laughs> you also what? Can get mad. <laughs> I like, now, if you, what does the front say there? The front says, uh, learn the, the, the Macarena in five minutes with Yasmina. Yeah, so I like, so if you look at the back, I uh -huh. noticed this fun thing about it. Where, can you read the portion where Yasmina is referenced? Yeah, sure. Uh, uh, it's infectious and sexy. In this, video, in this video, model and dance instructor Yasmina will show you the basic moves and then move on to some fun variations. Yeah, I just, I, I don't know if you can see it, but Yasmina is in quotes on the back. Yeah. <laughs> so I don't know if this is what, what we need to know about Yasmina. It seems like on the front she's presented as, as the the Macarena yeah. queen we all know, but on the back, we're like, yeah. you know. You, are you saying like maybe on the day of the real Yasmina didn't show? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> um, can I tell, there's two other things I just noticed on uh, the back. Uh, it says, as a special bonus, Yasmina also demonstrates the steps uh, for the, in quotes, dirty Macarena. Yeah. A sexy new version that's on the upswing. Yeah, we're, we're, we're still, everybody's still doing that one. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The Macarena was like a real, like, you know, flash in the pan, but the dirty Macarena, I feel like, had some real staying power. Seth, when you just talk about it, I kind of, um, <laughs> images come into my head that, uh, you know, maybe aren't appropriate for the audience. <laughs> hey, um, I, I, there are two things I wanted to ask you about, because, again, they really, seem true to the era. Uh, the kids' names, the twins' names are Skip. And that one seems uh, pretty uh, yeah. on the nose. And then Traybor. Uh, right. Were you, were you very happy when you came up with Traybor? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, like, I, I think it started as Skip and Trey, and then it was truly just a, like, maybe it's Traybor? <laughs> and then it was like, yep, it's, yep. it's going to be Skip and Traybor. <laughs> it was like, maybe um, it's Traybor, and we all call it a day. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I, also, I the, my... the catchphrase, uh, Zazzy Zazz, uh, that it's... really felt like 90s uh, morning TV to me. Zazzy, Zazzy Zazz. Oh, sorry, um, I apologize. No, it's cool. The internet's not going to be happy about that, yeah. but um, you're fine. Uh, Zazzy Zazz, yeah, that's what that's one of Skip's things. And like, uh, we just wanted to come up with the, the best phrase, and, and that was our attempt. I don't think anyone's gonna argue with Zuzzy's ass <laughs> being the best phrase. Hey, uh, congrats again. Maybe it Yasmina. Is... <laughs> yeah, whoa. Yasmina. Um, <laughs> hey, thank you so much for being here, man. Uh, the show is fantastic. Congratulations. Thanks so much, buddy.
Take care. Kyle Mooney, everybody. Saturday Morning All-Star Hits is streaming now on Netflix. And don't miss Saturday Night Live this weekend.